Hello, my name is Dr. Amir Moradi. I'm an accounting lecturer at Swinburne Business School. In this video clip, I would like to raise some issues about future of manufacturing in post-COVID-19 era in Australia. We know the share of manufacturing in GDP has constantly declined over the last decades. It was only less than 6% last year. According to the Australia Institute's Center for Future Work, Australia ranks last in manufacturing self-sufficiency among all OECD countries. It also lacks other relevant OECD indicators. The widespread disruption of global supply chains caused by COVID-19 highlighted the importance of reviewing current practice. As most countries struggle to make masks or ventilators to save lives, it was a lack of manufacturing infrastructure providing a wake-up call, both raising the demand for self-sufficiency and demonstrated the vulnerability in reliance on imported strategic goods rather than local manufacturing. It can be argued that not only strategic goods need to be made locally, they require supply chain security to minimize national security risks. It is of little comfort, even if we make things in Australia, if our reliance on imported material to do so renders manufacturing of no use. A short-term financial saving may come with a long-term economic cost. Let me provide you with an example. We pay for our car insurance, hoping we never need it. In the absence of an accident, the money is wasted. However, should we need our insurance that cost is well justified? Similarly, what are the salination plants built more than a decade ago after a prolonged drought in Australia or insurance? The construction was expensive, maintenance is also expensive, with the plants sitting idle as the dams refilled and the drought broke. Yet, when we needed them most recently in New South Wales, they were there. It's insurance, isn't it? Therefore, Maybe COVID-19 showed the continued vulnerability and we need to think more seriously about reviving manufacturing for national security reasons. Instead of too much focus on financial aspects in short term, we need to look at reducing our vulnerability to external shocks and focus instead on long-term benefits such as employment opportunities, boosting innovation, R&D capacity, and technology development. Yet the financial argument prevails, we simply don't learn. Despite all claims about supporting manufacturing in Australia, the Altona refinery in Melbourne will be closed soon. That meaning Australia has three functioning refineries. The refinery provided reliable fuel supply for Victoria. Yet again, its closure was simply financial and the company decided it cost too much. Instead, Victoria will have a new import terminal for refined product arriving from overseas. The OECD notes Australia lacks manufacturing capacity including, including refining for fuels. The government response to vulnerability of supply was to spend money and buying storage capacity. The energy minister stated the solution was cost effective. The fuel will be stored in Texas, United States. Unfortunately, it makes the strategic reserve very vulnerable to disruption. As Senator Mullen remarked, it's no use having 12 fantastic expensive submarines if there is no fuel. We need a genuine bipartisan approach and serious national discussion about future of manufacturing in Australia. Thank you.